Okay, hi everybody. It's a little bit cold out here, but but I promised that I would be back and we would talk about um, all of the suggestions that you had for what we should do for the rest of the year. And I went through all of them and I think, I think I can accommodate everybody. So um, we have a fun, fun round of stuff planned. And I made, I made a little list. I'm going to make this prettier and we'll, I'll put it up on the website and Facebook and Instagram and I'll talk about it on TikTok. I swear, I'm actually going to make some TikTok videos, I swear. Um, but anyway, today we're going to discuss the plans. <laughs> so that's just today. And um, then we're going to talk about how to read a pattern. So uh, the next few videos that I do are going to be like how to read a pattern for tatting, how to read a pattern for Mediterranean knotted lace, slash Oya, slash Bibila, blah, blah. Uh, and then we're going to do like how to read a knitting pattern, how to read a crochet pattern, how to read um, like embroidery patterns. So I'm, I'm going to try to touch on all the things I know. I'm going to talk to Tina and have her do um, a few as well. So uh, hopefully we can cover even more stuff, um, but that's, that's kind of my plan. And then next month, so in April, uh, I thought we could work on some little lilac flowers. So these are um, Babila or Oya Mediterranean Knotted Lace. Uh, it's a little design I've been working on and I need to make a lot more of them. So I thought you all could help me be a little more accountable. Um, and I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to make the little flowers um, because that way you can help me out. So anyway, uh, that's kind of my April plan. And I may add some other stuff. Um, you know, what may happen is that, that how to read a pattern may bleed into April a little bit more. Um, and we may spend more time doing other things with the Bila or we might skip straight into the Sashiko along. So anyway, I thought it would be really fun to work on this um, bunny towel that I started like a little bit ages ago. Uh, so this is going to be my Sashiko along for May. Uh, and you don't have to do the exact one that I'm doing, although we do have some available if you like happen to like bunnies and you want to make a towel. Uh, but totally up to you. We have tons of fun kits. I'm going to get more of them in um, so that we have them for May. Uh, and then for June, I we're going to take a look at Celtic tatting. So Celtic tatting, super fun, uses some skinny little um, super skinny little shuttles. So we're going to look at Celtic tatting in June. Um, and again, some of this may bleed back and forth and I might add some extra stuff to the months, but this is kind of like an overview of what to expect. And then in July, we're going to talk about um, how to start short rows. And then we're going to talk about all of the different ways that you can do short rows that I can find. So I am going to go on like a research hunt, which is one of my favorite things. And we are going to look at all of the different ways that you can do short rows for knitting. Um, let's see, August then, I think we should do a spin along. Now, that's not like firm yet. That's, that's kind of, you know, this is what I'm thinking is maybe for August we do a spin along. It'll be fun, you know, maybe what you thinking? I don't know. Um, and then in September, um, I had a request for some simple Oya or some simple knotted lace edgings. So we're going to take a little look at that, um, do some very easy, very simple ones, and then, um, I will talk to you about like how to add in um, elements of uh, Babila with your um, lace as well so that you can kind of explore both of those um, arts. So there's that. Um, and then in September, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about going up to my friend's um, craft retreat again and there'll be some more info about that, but maybe doing, I don't know that I'll do a full lace retreat, but I may have some classes and some shopping opportunity available if you wanted to come hang out in Baraboo, Wisconsin for a few days. Um, I, I'm just thinking I might throw some classes up and see if there's any interest. So, um, you know, I kind of talked with my friend about it. I like to go visit her and um, I have to say it was beautiful last year. Um, September was, was gorgeous in Wisconsin. So. I, I think I might. Um, it's just, just a little heads up that that may be happening. Um, October is Socktober, so we're going to talk about socks. Um, I'm going to take a look at all kinds of fun things with socks. And did you know that I wrote a book? It's called Hoppy Feet. It's a whole book of socks. So it's actually 12 different sock patterns um, plus some mitts and a tea cozy because why not? Uh, so yeah, I wrote a book. And if you want this, it is on the website. Just throwing that out there. Um, but we're going to take a look at socks. And so we're going to go through, I actually did a giant series on socks, 
um, a few years ago, but I'm going to revisit that and we're going to go back and uh, see if I missed anything and then do it all over again. Because why not? I can do that. Why not? Um, anyway, so October is going to be all about the socks. Uh, November, um, I've had a request for a tat it and see. So um, I, I will attempt to create, by November, a tat it and see that you will all enjoy. And it won't be a giant thing, it'll be something small. Um, because I tend to like small tat it and sees. Um, so that's <clears throat> vaguely maybe on my list of things to try to get done uh, for November. Um, and then I want to talk about some quick gifts for the holidays in November and December, um, both for yourself <laughs> and for others. So that's kind of my like my plan uh if there's anything else that you want me to try to work into the year please let me know uh, i'm always open to suggestions and some of these things won't take like the whole month uh so we may do like you know a few videos on it but whatever and i will still be doing like quick you know book chats and i'll be doing um like you know thread um with thread reviews, I guess is the word I want. And we'll be looking at all kinds of stuff throughout the rest of the year as well. Um, and I don't know what Tina's gonna do, but this is just like, this is my vague plan um, for kind of what's going on. Um, anyway, and then of course I will take you to the garden and I'll show you the chickens and I will tell you all about, um, I have chicks hatching. So, you know, we'll do hatching chick stuff and, um, you know, just, just all the things that I do throughout the year as well. But this is kind of our vague plan. So I just wanted to give everybody a little update on what to expect for the rest of the year. And hopefully it won't be so darn cold because, oh my God, it's cold today. Um, it's like super cold today. So anyway, um, I will see you all again very soon. Uh, there will be more info on the website and in the newsletter and uh, <laughs> just all the places, all the places. I'm going to put up all the places. Uh, on Facebook, on Instagram, whatever. And this hopefully will help you to plan your year. I will try to type out a little bit more than I usually do in the description to give you kind of a, an idea, a rundown of what's going to happen. So anyway, um, yeah. What else do I need to say? Uh, oh, there's a great blue heron flying right over my head. That was cool. They come visit my pond sometimes. Okay, sorry, that was like a, di a little diversion there. Uh, anyway, so please make sure that you have subscribed to the YouTube channel, that you're following us on Facebook, that you're following us on Instagram, that you are following us on TikTok, um, that you have signed up for the newsletter, that you've gone to the website, www.atwistedpico.com, and that you are, you know, just keeping in touch with us. We have lots of fun things coming up. We have lots of places that we're going. I've tried to get more of the events up on the website. Um, there will be more. There's more coming uh, that I don't have up yet. I'm, I'm just trying to get it all out there. And um, anyway, I, I'll talk about that. I'll do like a whole, here's some more events that we're going to very soon. Um, but anyway, that's, that's kind of a little bit of what to expect. So please make sure that you take care of yourself, because I always used to say this, mentally, physically, emotionally, and craftually. Um, and I'm gonna go check and see if that chicken has laid an egg because she is singing the song of her people, which says, look, I have laid an egg. I am so proud of myself. So anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go check for that. Um, and I don't, one day maybe I'll try to get that on video and, and, and you can hear, you can listen to the egg song. It's each, each hen has a slightly different egg song, but, uh, they like to sing, sing a little song when they've laid an egg and it's very entertaining to me. I have no idea why, but it's super entertaining to me. Um, anyway, all right. I will see you guys next time. Make sure that you've liked and subscribed and go check out the website. There's fun new things. Make sure you've subscribed to the newsletter as well because you know, sometimes I put things up one place and I forget to put it up other places. So if you just follow us everywhere, you'll be on top of all the news. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.